Science. For science today, we're starting on page 47, and it says, how do engineers work? Raise your hand if you've heard of the word engineer. Some of your parents might even be engineers, and you might not even know it. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to talk about engineers in this science unit. So at first it says, how do you scratch an itch you cannot reach? What can you do if you want to scratch an itch that you can't reach? Go on. Okay, have someone scratch it for you. This, this answer to this question is almost a little kind of hard because engineers are people that like design things and kind of make things. So it's kind of wanting you to think like that when it comes to how you can scratch your back if you can't reach it. What could you do? Mason, what do you think? Okay, you could buy a back scratcher. This one, it wants you to make a tool that you can use. So it's going to say you can design a tool to scratch it, or to reach your back, to reach your itch, I guess you should say. So that's what you are going to do. That's how what we're going to talk about is like designing things to help things, help us do things in life. Yes, Adam? Yes, so you're going to write that on the line. So you're going to write, design a tool to reach it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit. So if you have an itch on your back or if you are, your back is itchy and you're trying to reach the scratch, you're just going to, and you cannot reach it, you could try to design a tool so that you can reach it. All right, so fill that in. a tool to reach it, right on the line, just like I wrote. Okay, then while you're writing that, I'm going to tell you the two vocabulary words that we're going to learn in this unit today. Our engineer, we're going to learn what an engineer is and what an engineer does. And design process, we're also going to learn about the design process. So you're going to write this on the line also, the lines at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to write those two things. So you're going to fill in the, all the lines on this page. All right, on page 48, it says problem solvers. And it says an engineer uses math and science to solve everyday problems. Engineers work on many kinds of problems. Some engineers design robots, like this one in the picture you can see. Some engineers, or others, plan roads, and some design cars. So those are some different types of engineers. So, we're going to skip the little act of reading part. Down here, I'm sorry, here, let me keep reading onto the page 49, and then we'll go back to the other one. It says, engineers use a design process to solve problems. A design process is a plan with steps that help engineers find good solutions. So, this is their design process. So, engineers, first, they find a problem. So, they figure out what the problem is. Next, they plan and build. So, they come up with a plan, and then they build something to help solve that problem. Then, they're going to test what they just built, and then improve it. Improve it means, like, fix it if there's something that needs to be fixed. If there is, they're going to redesign it, so they're going to remake it again, and then they're going to share it with people and tell people what they did, which is communicate. Okay, we kind of talked a little bit about this in the last chapter. So, if you look at both of these pages, the bottom of this page, there's a robotics engineer, there's a mechanical engineer, and there's a civil engineer. And then it says over here, 
there on page 48 to circle the names of three kinds of engineers. So first you're going to circle. Over here we have mechanical engineer. We're going to circle the blue. This guy is, a, this is someone who's kind of like building maps. A civil engineer. And then a robotics engineer. Okay, so we have our three types of engineers. And I think we're going to learn a little bit about each one. All right, turn to page 50. So at first it's going to talk about the design process. So first it says, find a problem. That's the first step in the design process. Jack has a niche he cannot reach. How can he scratch it? The steps of this design process show Jack what to do. Jack names his problem. He needs to find a way to scratch his back. He brainstorms, which means kind of comes up with ideas, on ways to solve his problem. So that's this. That's Jack trying to scratch his back. And what is the problem again that Jack wants to solve? Cullens. Right. He's trying to reach the itch on his back. So that's the problem. So we're going to write reach. R E A C H. The T H E itch is I T C H on O N is H I S back. No, it doesn't take long. Those are all really short words. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to reach the itch on his back. trying to do it's the problem he's trying to solve. All right, let's take a look at page 51. So on 51, it's okay if you're not done. It says, Jack gets out his science notebook. He wants to record what he does to solve his problem. So his problem is that he can't, I can't scratch my back. That's his problem. This is him writing in his notebook. Brainstorm ideas. So it says, draw a way to solve Jack's problem. So you're going to try to draw something that he could make to scratch his back. What kind of things could he use to scratch his back? Mason, what do you think? Okay, good. But you're going to try to think of things like materials that you would put together to build that. Miles, what do you think? Okay, good. So maybe you could take See, I'll kind of show you guys. So, like, if I took, like, a stick, and then maybe I wanted to tape, like, plastic forks to it. So this is supposed to be a plastic fork. <laughs> maybe take plastic forks to each side. I could try to use that as a back scratcher. And I could go like this with the stick. And if I could go like this in my back, I could probably try to scratch it. Or I might even want the forks to be spacing a different way. Or you could use maybe toothpicks, but that might kind of hurt your back. I would say use pencils, but then I feel like it's going to mark on your clothes and you don't want that. Christian, what do you think? Oh, yeah. A poem. That's true. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good, that's a good idea. Good. What else, Claire? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Use that. You could do that. Good. Very long stick and a big brush that you use. Good. Oh, man. Oh, that would really hurt. 
All right, so you are going to think of, if you have an idea, try drawing it on the paper. Just like Christian said and like Claire said, you could tape or put a calm on a stick. So you're going to draw your idea. All right, so on the next page, we're going to see what Jack did. So it says, now he's going to plan and build. So it says, the, then Jack chooses a solution to try. He makes a plan. Jack draws and labels his plan. He chooses the best materials to use. So here's his plan that he drew. So he has a paper tube, like a paper towel, like a cardboard paper towel roll. He's got some green straws, and then he's got some red tape to hold it all together. Okay? At the bottom, it says, what material is Jack using to hold the straws to the paper tube? What is he using to hold those straws to the paper tube? Miles? Tape! Good! So you just have to write. T A T E tape. Using this red tape to hold the straws to the tube. T A P E. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. While you're writing, I'm going to go on to the next page. It says Jack builds his back scratcher. He uses the materials he chose and the plan he made. So that's him making it using red tape, straws, and a cardboard tube. All right, go on to the next page. We're almost done with science. Number three says test and improve. Jack tests the back scratcher with a friend. They try the back scratcher to see whether it works. Does the back scratcher solve the problem? So look at what they're doing. Does it look like it's scratching and it's helping in this picture? No. What could they What could they use instead of straws? What could you What do you think they could use? Yeah, they could use forks. Mason, what else? You use plastic forks. Good. I'm gonna put that down. You can if you want, or you can put your idea. Okay. Let me pause. So on page 55, it says redesign. So Jack's going to think of a way to redesign his back scratcher. He adds notes about how to make it better. How to make it better, he wrote. Replace the straws with sticks to scratch harder. So instead of using straws, he's going to put sticks there. Okay? And it says Jack writes and draws to show what happened. He can share what he learned with others. And it says what material is Jack using to make his design better. Circle the word. What material did they say he was going to replace the straws with when he does his redesign? Mason? Sticks. So you're just going to circle the word sticks right up there. Sticks. On page 55. And then we have one last page and we're done. So circle the word sticks. All right, let's take a look at page 56 now. The circle it, the sum it up page. Number one, circle it. Circle the step of the design process shown in the picture. So, in this picture it says how to make it better. Replace the straws with sticks to scratch harder. Is that finding a problem, plan and build, or is that when he decided to redesign? Christian. Redesign, yeah, because he replaced the sticks, or he put sticks instead of straws. Good. So when he takes something out and adds something in to make it better, that's when he redesigns. Number two, answer the riddle. I love problems, I love, I'm sorry, I solve problems using science and math. The design process <laughs> leads me along the right path. What or who am I? What is that, Logan? No, it's a person. Remember, we just learned about a person. It's up on the board that uses math and science to solve problems. Miles? Engineer. Good job. A-N-G-I-N-E-E-R. And it's up on the board, too, if you can't see it. All right. So once you circle that word and you write engineer, that is the end of science today.